In this video, we'll see how to apply rate limiting policy to an API. I am inside the API Connect Manager uh, inside the services workspace. For this demo, I've already published the API to API Gateway and Developer Portal. Now let's go to the Action tab and click Edit Proxy. Under the Advanced tab, let's select the policies. Scroll down and you can see rate limiting policy. Let's go and add that policy. Uh, there are three keys to apply the to apply the rate limit policy actually uh, one is the client ip address authenticated client and the third one is the uri and you can specify the rate limit here uh, and also the rate limit unit which is request per second or request per unit minute and also you can define the shared memory size by default it is 10 and also select the zone size unit or megabytes or kilobytes for this demo i will keep the key as a client ip address and the rate limit will be 10 and the unit will be request per minute and click add and you can add multiple rate limiting policy to the same api and also you can customize the error handling code by default it will be 429 i will keep it as 429 for this demo and click add and save and publish great it's published to developer portal as well as to api gateway now let's go to the developer portal and let's go to the api tab let's go to the api which is already published and let's select on another endpoint uh, let's see let's select this one and we can test the rate limiting feature in postman and see if it works let's go to the postman copy paste it and see yep we get a response now let's do one more time now you can see the message has too many requests and status is 429 so this is how you configure a uh, rate limiting policy in api connector manager i hope you like this video and thank you